today I'm unboxing the January Birch Box! Yes! Um, before we get started though, make sure, if you're not already, that you are subscribed, please! Just down there, just go and press the subscribe button and the notification bell, that would be marvellous if you are already subscribed. Thank you, welcome back! Um, okay, also to mention, if you are liking today's facial gubbins um then make sure you stick around because this video is going to be coming up next right let's get into it i'm so excited okay first of all it arrived in this which leaks let's face it um, but look how cute the actual birch box is that's so cute look at it i don't know if they're like balloons or fruit or just shapes. I just really like the colourful little box there to add to the collection. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, marvellous. Well, whoa! Oh, I'm throwing things. Bear with. Right, so first is a little card with the same design around the outside that says shake your pom-poms. So maybe they were pom-poms. There we go. Right, as always, when I'm doing an unboxing, I'm going to put the card to one side because I like to just rummage and go, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? And then we go back to the card at the end and I actually find out what it is and find out I was completely wrong. Yeah, yeah, just come with me. It's a process. Right, first of all... Oh, off mate i can absolutely see it coming they're so cute okay don't know who they're by or what they're for but okay beautiful what are you sir you're trying to um oh i've actually used this before oh it's so good my mum i think got me some of this or was it an elasticizer oh now i'm confused mom are you watching can you tell me please so this is the philip kingsley flaky slash itchy scalp shampoo now I can't remember now whether it was an elasticizer or a shampoo, like a normal shampoo. But I seem to remember mum giving me a Philip Kingsley situation and I really, really liked it. So, obviously I'm going to have to sniff it, aren't I? Do you smell of anything? Ooh, that's got a really light, nice fragrance to it. Ooh, and it's now up my nose. There we go. It's a good job it smells nice if it's up my nose now, doesn't it? All right then. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, what are you? <gasps> Elixa. Just, just, just a thought. Just, just, just wandered across my brain there. Would, would you like if I did a separate video to this where I used some of the products that I get in my subscription boxes that I open on this channel? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Right. What are you, please? Oh, the C L E. Essence Moonlighter Cushion with hybrid sharing technology. Oh, my car's a hybrid, so does that mean it shares technology with my car? What's What on earth is that? This feels very high-end, by the way. This is very nice. Oh, is it the like a liquid cushion highlighter dealy bopper? I've got... What have I got? I don't want to say Maybelline. It's not Maybelline. MUA Makeup Academy, I've got one of theirs and it's beautiful. Okay, so we've got a little film thing that we've got to remove there. Oh, it is, it is. Go with me, because I'm probably going to ruin the whole high-end nature of this very product. So we've got a bit of a mirror in the lid and then we've got this that covers the product when we're not using it. And then we've got a lovely little sponge to apply it with. Right, go with me. You know in the post office where they've got those sponges that are constantly damp and they put stamps on them to, you know, any, anyone go with me on that one? You know, you used to have to lick a stamp. I know they're self-adhesive now, but you know, you used to have to lick a stamp and they tasted disgusting. Where well, you could get these little pads that had sponges that were damp and you could put the sponge on it and it would like essentially lick the stamp for you anybody remember those anyway it's a little bit like that but it's a highlighter so it's a liquid highlighter so you still get that effect but when you use it with the cushion and just ding 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 
it's a little bit easier if you find liquid highlighters difficult to use because they are tricky um these just make them a little bit easier and it's a little more of um a buildable kind of more lip from within finish so yeah exciting times <laughs> i thought that was gonna click then sorry Ugh. what are you oh, i don't know what to get first i don't know what to get first Ooh, ooh. right i don't know how to say brand name from how it says it on here but this says punk volumizer mascara is this for volumizing punks i don't know what's going on there whoop oh hello oh hello please excuse the back of my hand i've been doing swatches um oh i do like me a chunky mascara brush and that is a chunky mascara brush that looks epic so it looks to be black elixa elixa oh never heard of this brand because i can't pronounce it so looking forward to try see what they are Ooh, oh god this is heavy okay in this we've got oh dr botanicals pomegranate superfood regenerating cleansing bar Ooh. oh oh and i love the little packaging that's really cute oh it's bright pink it's bright pink the actual bar is pink oh it smells gorgeous oh it's like a lemony fruity smell but more lemony than fruity go with me <laughs> oh god how many times a day do i say just go with me <laughs> it just smells clean do you know what i mean that kind of citrusy just clean scent love the color as well very chic and in my little pink and gray house that's gonna look fabulous okay this looks brilliant Ooh, what is this? this is the after spa facial scrubber the ultimate exfoliation for face and neck oh it's like those baby sponges does anybody know what i mean um little baby sponges with well, the rainer sponges you could get i'm not sure how old i am again um and they sort of dried into this sort of hard disc but then as soon as you wet them they softened and oh my god they were so good for bathing babies with oh it's got a little thing on it oh oh it's like a soft loofah it's like a cross between a sponge and a loofah oh that would be so nice on the face to exfoliate and your neck um yeah it doesn't feel rough it's soft like a sponge but it does have that exfoliating quality of like a loofah that makes sense <laughs> right that's the contents of this month's box so let's have a look at that little piece of paper and see what see what see what just see what let's just see what okay so first is the cle um essence moonlighter cushion and this one is in apricot tinge that is a good word it's underused is the word tinge a tinge of apricot i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm sorry this is full size and this retails at 22 pounds in a box that's cost me 12.95 so already in one item 22 pounds thank you very much infused with luminescent pearl powder this innovative highlighter delivers a beautiful gleam to your skin plus it has an amazing cooling sensation when applied using the applicator puff or your fingers smooth onto your cheekbones down your nose and beneath your brows for instant radiance glow get it <gasps> shall we glow get it shall we apply and see what we think let's love highlighter so much so so much right i'm going to apply it with the sponge which feels very very luxurious and high-end okay oh my god i've literally just dab dab on my face <gasps> no i like a blinding highlighter my god that's gorgeous So I've applied it with the sponge and then I'm just going over like the edges of it just to blend that out. <gasps> I love it! Oh my god, how amazing! <laughs> Look at that! How amazing is this to take to festivals, on holiday? <gasps> oh my god, that's 
epic. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think we can say that works. Oh, it does cool as well. That is actually quite cooling. That's really nice. I can't believe how blinding it is. <laughs> okay, elixir. Okay, on to the uh, Dr. Botanicals cleansing bar. This is also full size and retails at £5.90. Um, this says, uh, gentle enough for face and body, this is more than your average bar of soap. Formulated with 98% natural ingredients, it will cleanse, exfoliate and restore natural glow. Lather using your hands, massage in and rinse clean to reveal a naturally radiant complexion. Cleansing at its simplest and most effective. Ooh, looking forward to trying that. I'm a little bit wary of kind of cleansing bars that solidify. I kind of feel like, I kind of always get really paranoid that they're going to solidify into my pores and like block everything up. But obviously you need to just rinse it off. Um, so yeah, I will report back with this smells and feels gorgeous and if it's like mainly natural ingredients then that's going to be great for your skin skincare is something i am really really trying my best to make a priority at the minute and i can really feel and see my skin completely changing and improving so yes very much looking forward to adding something else to the uh, collection for skincare Okay, so next onto the Philip Kingsley uh, Flaky Slosh Itchy Scalp Shampoo. Um, this apparently has a four star review or four plus star review on the Birchbox website, which means it's been tried and tested by Birchbox members and they've all loved it. So this says, want strong, shiny hair? Yes, please, Mr. Kingsley, I would, thank you. Um, get to the root of the issue by showing your scalp some TLC. This soothing formula gently cleanses the skin on your head, effectively an extension of the skin on your face to leave it soft and healthy like your strands just massage thoroughly into your scalp then rinse clean so this is obviously a sample size um it retails at 24 pounds full size but it doesn't say what size that is so i'm looking forward to trying that one next we have the after spa facial micro scrubber this is full size as well and retails at seven pounds so this says, when it comes to washing your face, your cleanser will work a lot harder with a sidekick. This dual texture facial tool helps to remove the dirt, oil and impurities in your skin that your hands can't. Uh, apply your usual cleanser, then work the damp scrubber over your skin. Rinse clean and hang to dry when you're finished. So yeah, well excited to use this one. As I've just said about skincare, my skin naturally is very dry particularly in winter so i really do have to keep up with the regular exfoliating but you've then got to be really careful with the exfoliating products that you're using that you're not overdoing it and you're not actually causing little abrasions in your skin that then bacteria can get into and you just end up causing more damage than you started with in the first place so i feel like dedicated facial exfoliators are the best way to go and this feels so nice this i'm not feeling this and thinking geez you want me to put this on my face and i just know that once it's damp it's going to get even softer so i'm so excited to try this one okay i've got a really watery eye this is not good okay let's just get through this let's just get through this um okay next is the mascara okay duche duche douche duche i'm okay one of those may be correct both of them may not be correct. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Um, this is another one that's got four plus star reviews on birchbox.co.uk. Okay, here we go. Want lashes that look... Oh, hang on. Sorry. Sorry. Bear with. Rewind. This um, retails at £18. I'm assuming this is um, sample size. Yeah, the lid on the picture looks a different shape. So yeah, I'm going to say this is definitely a sample size. But it looks a good size. Right, so it says, want lashes that look larger than life? Uh-huh. You need a mascara with a wand equally as big like this one. Exactly what I said. A customer favourite, it's brush features, both large and small bristles to help you separate and coat every lash for mega volume that lasts. Shimmy the brush back and forth when you apply for extra impact. Which is what we want, isn't it, people? Let's face it. Um, so, yeah. I'm blessed beyond belief to have long curly eyelashes. So, yeah a decent mascara 
that gets those little tiny lashes as well as the big long ones as well is an absolute must for me so yeah i love it my favorite ever mascara has been the uh, maybelline go colossal because of the massive brush it had um and this one looks to be a similar size so yeah very excited i just love finding new products and new brands that i probably wouldn't come across myself and that for me is the beauty of subscription boxes i love it okay and last but not least it says plus a little something extra and these are just from Birchbox, um, the, the Pom Pom Hair Ties, um, ponytails, braids and top knots. When you need to pull your hair back, it's likely that you do it in a variety of ways. So why rely on your boring black hairband to tie it up? Don't start with my boring black hairband. They are a staple. Ugh. But yeah, I see what you mean. Um, inspired by this month's box theme, these pom-pom topped hair ties add a colourful finishing touch to whatever hairstyle you're rocking. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I love little cute little hair accessories. They're so cute. Right, that was the January Birch Box. What do you reckon? What are your thoughts? Have you used any of those products? I'm feeling a little bit asthmatic. My chest is hurting. Um, have you used any of the products? Were you, are you inspired to try any of the products? What do you think of the products? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. While you are at it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. I don't know what this was, but let's just never speak of it again. Um, go and subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you have your notifications switched on. And then whenever I post a video, which is generally Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but you never know, I might just sneak attack you and just drop one in there and not, not like pre-warn anyone. Never know what I'm going to do next. So make sure you switch your notifications on so you know when I do anything out of the ordinary. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.